You mentioned at the start sort of uh, the fact that you it helped you and um, Jenny to get on the same page, the decision-making that you guys were doing. How did the scenario planning and modelling output, how did that help? Like, how did that play out with the discussions that you guys had? And um, what happened? Because obviously we have our meetings, but what sort of happened behind the scenes to help you guys come together to end up sort of fully aligned and, um, you know, moving forward on the same page with this stuff? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we were always pretty aligned in terms of, of what we wanted. But it was more the transparency of this is the amount of money that, that we've got, and, and this is the amount of money that comes in. Where does that go, and how do we best get to that number um, to give us that security? So, I think there, there was a load of things around just what type of, you know, I, I would be very happy living a little bit more stringently, I, I think, and, and Jen would uh, probably a little bit more extravagant and. and uh, a little bit more free with the money. So, you know, just even to have those conversations around, we need to set a number here of because this money is coming into our accounts every week, we need to come to an agreement of, you know, yes, it doesn't have to be as probably as tight as I am and it probably doesn't have to be as extravagant as you are. Uh, and, and how do we kind of get to that middle point that we're both still enjoying life, right? Because at the end of the day, you're only here once and, you know, you, we need to enjoy the enjoy the time that we're here. So, um you know, it just raised a load of bigger conversations, mate, to be honest. So it wasn't just even financial. It just talked around anything and everything about the future. And it was just a bit of a catalyst to do that. Yeah, definitely all links together, right? Like you've got, it's, it, we're talking about financial planning or financial strategies, but really it's, it's like, where do we want to live in the future? You know, how comfortable are we with carrying this risk? What's our family plan? Like, all of yep. these things that they're all tangential, but they're all so critical when it comes to making the best financial decisions. But it's interesting. I One of the things that, because we, you know, when we're working with new clients in particular and, and for those people that haven't been through the planning process before or, or that are trying to decide whether they should be going through it, they a, a common thing that we get is where you have a couple that there's one person in the couple that's, more um, uh, more drives more of the financial side of things. It's surprisingly not a male female thing mm -hmm. at all. Um, although blokes do have a tend um, tend to have uh, there be probably a little bit more passengers than um, than dri than drivers in a lot of cases because they just think that everything's okay and there's that like blokey sort of confidence that we get with stuff and. Um, uh, we 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 figure that we we got this and don't want to ask anyone for help and all 